this is massively, massively important to our studies because our mindset impacts what we choose to do and what we choose not to do and what we feel good and feel bad about. And this impacts our habits and how we study, obviously, and how we feel about how we study as well. So when we look at the fixed versus the growth mindset, I find in my experience, most accounting students that I've come across struggle more with a fixed mindset and have more of a fixed mindset. And that's very outcome based. They want to pass. The important thing about, you know, the important thing in your head is I must pass, I must pass, I must do well, I must perform, I must pass. Whereas the growth mindset is very much about the process and it's about learning. So someone with a growth mindset, for example, would feel that there's more value in the information that I learn and in the learning process. That means that the growth mindset, someone with a growth mindset can actually be fairly happy about failing something because it's part of the learning process. I do something, I fail at it, I don't do it well, and I learn from that, and then I do it better next time. And failing is just part of the journey. You know, failing is part of the process. You, you're not going to get everything right the first time you do something. And if you don't get it right, it's not the end of the world, and it's not the end of your journey. It's part of the process. Generally, people with a fixed mindset really struggle with failure. It's it's kind of seen as um, it's kind of the end of the line. Um, if I fail this, I'll never be able to pass it. Or it's you know, if I fail this, it means that I am a failure. It becomes a bit of a self definition. Uh, what if I never pass this thing or whatever? And because the focus is on the outcome, the outcome is that I have failed. So a fixed mindset is very much focused on the the goal and passing. And if I don't pass, then I haven't achieved my objective. Right, so failure is a huge problem for 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 people with a fixed mindset because the focus is on the outcome, the final result. And if the final result is a fail, then that's it. Goal not met, goal not achieved, journey over. I am bad. I am a failure. Whereas a person with a growth mindset is saying, "Sure, I failed, but there's something to be learned in that. It's part of the learning process." Let's not talk about the final exams, but let's talk about your, your studying sessions. When you do practice questions, you're going to do questions through the year and through the semester. And depending on whether or not you have a fixed or a growth mindset will depend on, on how you deal with those questions. So generally, someone with a, a fixed mindset will do a question and if they fail that question, then they kind of stop. And through their brain, you know, there's that internal monologue of, if I fail this question now, I'm never going to pass it. I'm never going to do well. This isn't going to go right. Uh, what if I don't pass this thing? And you kind of put the brakes on. You disengage. You find excuses not to study anymore. Or you just quietly avoid it. You don't think about it. You go study something that makes you feel better, etc. So you kind of, you kind of stop the process. Ideally, what you want when you study is a growth mindset where you do questions, you fail a question, you learn from that failure, you do another question. You may fail, but you might fail a little bit less. <laughs> you know, you, you, you do a little bit better than you did last time. You learn from that. And then you do another question, and so you progress, you know. So for students, I say, you know, let's assume that the very first question that you do, you get 30%. You know, you, you learn what happened to the other 70%, other where did it go wrong. The next time you do the question, maybe you get 40%. Well, you've, you've improved by 10%. And the next time you do it, maybe you get 50%. So every time you're doing a question, you're improving your knowledge. You know, The process is to help you improve your abilities and your knowledge. The fixed mindset or someone with a fixed mindset will 
do a question, get 30% and feel like this is the end of the line. Um, I'm never going to get more than that. It's not a conscious thought. It's just a strong feeling and you end up, you end up not doing more about it because I just, I feel so bad. I feel like a failure. I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue. And so you put the brakes on and you don't do it. And if you do do another question, if someone forces you to do another question and you do get 40%, you feel, well, I'm still failing. So um, it reinforces that feeling that you, that you don't know what you're doing and that you're failing. You don't see that there is an improvement. You don't count that improvement because you're still failing. Your idea uh, you know, subconsciously is that the very first time I do a question, I should get a distinction for it, you know, because if I was smart and if I knew what I was doing, I'd be getting distinctions. So if I'm not getting distinctions, by definition, I'm not smart and I don't know what I'm doing. And we forget about the fact that there's a process, that learning is a journey. It's not something that you hear or you know, or you, you know, you, you hear information once and all of a sudden you're a genius and you know exactly what you're doing. That's not learning, right? That's not how, that's not how the journey works. In your studies though, what ends up happening? Students go, well, Ivana, I don't do that. You know, I, I don't stop. But what you do do, you may not stop, but you stop doing questions. You will go back to theory. You go back to revision. So students say to me, no, no, but that's not true. Because just because I failed a question doesn't mean that I don't that I don't carry on studying. I do carry on studying. But what type of studying do you do? Generally, people with a fixed mindset will go straight back to theory and revision. Why? Because it's a comfort zone. Because it's a little bit more passive because you're not putting yourself out there. You're not assessing yourself. You're not putting yourself in a position where you might fail. You're collecting everything back again. You go, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to do more theory, more revision until I am ready to do that question again. Until I feel like I'm in a position where I will get 80%, then I will do a question. Okay, so you will do theory and you'll revise until you feel like you know what you're doing. And only when you feel like you know what you're doing, will you attempt the question. And the problem with that, obviously, is by the time you get to the exam, chances are you're still not ready. And you may have done a total of two questions because you just weren't ready. You weren't in a position. You never got to a position where you felt like you'd get 80% for a question so you just never did one. And then all of a sudden the exam came, you ran out of time. And so yesterday, the day before the exam, I guess I, I guess I better do a question. Whereas the person with a growth mindset has just been quietly plugging away at question after question after question. And by the time they get to exam, they've done 10 of them. They may have failed eight of them, but the amount of learning they've accumulated and the, the slow, small improvements along the way is what counts. So a fixed versus a growth mindset, if you're, if you're kind of feeling like you sit on one side of the border, and as I say, in a lot of cases, most accounting students that I've dealt with and I've taught, and myself included, struggle with a fixed mindset when it comes to studying. I don't want to do a question until I'm ready, until I feel like I can pass. That's a fixed mindset. The growth mindset is, let me just jump right in there and see what I know. Let me start... Let me see where I am, and if I fail along the way, that's part of the process. You know, it's important enough that I'm going to keep doing it. When you learn to sh tie your shoelace, you didn't get it right the first time, but it didn't stop you. You didn't feel stupid for it. You just kept going. You know, you, you, you may have sucked at it for like a few years, but you just kept going, and now you can tie your shoelace without thinking. But it's not something you did the very first time you started. You tied your shoelace and you were fine. Okay, so learning is the process of being stupid and then stupid and then less stupid and then less stupid until eventually you get smart. If we struggle with fixed mindsets, we don't see the process. We only see the outcome. So when you're studying and you're thinking about how you study and your lecturer or, or someone you do, it says you need to do questions, be very careful when you find yourself going back to theory and going back to revision because I'm not ready. When you hear those words in your head, the ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, then you start filtering, falling back into the fixed mindset side, the fixed mindset category. You will never be ready, but you need to improve, you need to work on it.